Hello and welcome to this Excel and Dataverse video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show us how to connect an input table from the Dataverse into the Excel Power Query. And then we're going to use the standard pivot table to analyze the data in Excel. So let's get started. Basically, the Dataverse allows users to securely store and manage data used for business application. So let's see our Power Apps section. Okay, so we have properly signed in into this my tenant Excel Jet Consult, and we can see the Dataverse here. Now, under the Dataverse, we have the tables, choices, data flows, Axel, Synapse, Link, Connections custom connectors and so on now under the tables we have the table name and all other attributes okay now i'm going to scroll down i have initially imported an excel table into the dataverse which is this particular sales data so i can actually double click this so when i double click this we can actually see the table name sales data we can see the properties and then we can see the schema, such as the columns, relationships, keys, and then we have the data experiences, such as the forms, views, charts, and dashboard. And of course, we have the customization. Now, let's say we actually want to view the columns inside the table, okay? So under data experiences, I'm going to click on views, okay? Now, under the views, we have the table name and the views, so I can choose this active sales table so i double click that now it's going to actually show me where i can actually pick each of the columns from the table so now we have the date which is the primary key for our table and then we have the date it was created which is on the 2nd of june 2022 and the time okay and i can actually pick uh, let's say i want to pick this i want to view this payment type column so just a single click and then we have it displayed okay we can see the date and then we have the payment type and let's see we want to see the total okay for each line of items okay we can see the total and of course you can you know rearrange the columns by just holding down the left click and you drag to whatever location you want and then let's do the same thing for this total column all right so we have the date the payment type and the total columns in the sales data table in the data of us now let's go to excel and use the new connector to connect to and import this table into excel power query so i'm going to come over to excel now in excel I can just go to the data tab of the ribbon under the get and transform data i'm going to click on get data and then i'm going to choose from power platform now you need to be in the m365 in order to be able to have access to this newly released dataverse and data flows connector so now you can see from dataverse so i'm going to click on that right, so we can actually see the dataverse and we can see this little icon so i can actually click on this expand button to see all the tables that are in the dataverse of course we are going to have all the attribute tables and the main sales date table okay so i can just click on this select multiple items so we can pick as many as we want and let me scroll down to around the section where i have it now the table is actually this we have c r 474 underscore sales data so this is the particular table i need now i also have another hr data so i need this sales data so i'm going to click on this icon and then i can choose transform or even just right click and choose transform data we have actually imported the table into the power query and we have all these attributes which we do not need so let me just scroll to the right where we have the three columns we are interested in which are dates payment type and the total columns okay now this is what we need this is the date column the payment type and the total column so what i'm going to do is to single click on this and hold down the shift key and i click on the total column and then i can right click and choose remove all the column okay so we have the proper date data type 
Now, this is going to be text, which is fine. And of course, for the total, we actually want to use currency data type, not whole number. So I can right click and choose change type and choose currency. But you, but you can even click on this icon to the left and choose currency. Now, having done the connect and import into the Power Query, and then we have cleaned the data set, we can go ahead and load into an Excel in the home tab of the ribbon. I'm going to click on close and load to. So in the import data dialog box, of course, we want to load it into an Excel table. So table is fine. And then we want to use the existing worksheet and let's dump it in cell A1 and then we're going to click on OK. So we have loaded the data set into an Excel table and we can see that we have 1 million rows of data set, which is awesome. Let's verify. I'm going to press control down arrow key. We can see we have 1 million of records. Okay, so we can go ahead and summarize with a pivot table in Excel. So in the table design of the Power Query, so I'm going to click on summarize with pivot table. And then in the pivot table, let's use the existing worksheet and let's top it in cell F2. Then I'm going to click on OK. All right, so I'm going to close the queries and connections tax pane here. So close this and let's build a simple pivotable report. Okay, so let's say I want to visualize the total by payment type. So I'm going to click on this payment icon to the left and then I'm going to choose the total. And then we have the sum of total by payment. So let's just, you know, fix this. Let's apply currency right click and choose number format. Okay, in the number format dialog box, let's choose currency, US symbol is fine. So click on OK. And then let's tidy things up. Pivot table design tab. So choose um, report layout. I want to choose in tabular form. And then we have the proper name of the payment type column. So this is the sum by payment type. Let's see, we want to do the percentage. So I'm going to grab the total column one more time and drop it below the sum of total in the values area of the pivot table field. And then we have it so I can right click and choose show, show value as percentage of grand total. And then we can see the percentage. Okay, you can see that PayPal account for 28.22% of 100 total, okay? So we can tie things up by renaming this, and let's call this one um, percentage of GP, grand total. Okay, so I'm gonna click on okay, and that's fine. So this is basically how we can connect and import data from the data of us into the Excel Power Query, and then we analyze with Excel Pivot Table. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, you can like, share, and consider subscribing to this channel because there is a lot to come. Thank you, and bye for now. Cheers.